Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Earthbound. In the last part, we got to Happy Happy Town. We went through the um, peaceful uh, Rest Valley, and it was kind of hard actually because there was a bunch of tough enemies. But we made it through here. We also got the Hard Hat, which raises our defense. So actually, what I want to do now is I want to um let's see. I need to withdraw some money actually, so rather than him, I think I'm gonna just withdraw like a hundred just to be safe. Uh, cause I need to actually stash some items and actually get some items back from, um, the, from the Excalgo Express. So yeah, there's a hundred dollars. I have to pay to use the phone again though, that stinks, but that's okay. Okay, Excalgo Express. Oh, this, okay, this is Tracy again. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, um, pick up, I guess, yeah, cause I need to, I have a full stash of items right now. So I'm merely to pick up. Okay, cool. Let's just, Wait, I guess. I think if you go right straight out the door, the guy, never mind. I thought the guy would come, you know, automatically. Shoot, 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 shoot. Dude, I, won't, I don't want to fight you. I'm trying to wait, wait for my pickup. Are you kidding me? You stupid, insane cultist or whatever you, whatever you call it. Oh my gosh. I was waiting to get a pickup from Excalgo Express, but then you like totally annoyed. You like, I said like too many times already, but you just interrupted me and I don't know if it'll affect that or not, but come on. I don't want to fight you right now. I'll fight you later, man. Oh my gosh, this annoys me so much. I don't like this at all. You're just attacking. Okay, good. I guess smash attack. Okay. I always think you experience out of this. That's like the only good thing. 760 experience. Wow, that's a lot. Two, 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 two. Yeah, there we go. Good then. Didn't affect my pickup. Good. Oh, this is Excargo Express. Your delivery charge is $18. You'll cover the bill. Yep. Okay. Uh, what should we have to take? I can take it to three things. So, um, I want to sell my Mr. Baseball cap, actually. So, uh, broken machine, because we, we don't need that till later. Yes, there's some other, there's other stuff. A bomb for right now, because I don't really, I don't, I think I can just save this for later on. So, I'll just do that. And then a pencil racer. And I obviously want you to, can I sell the picture postcard, honestly? I don't know. Pencil racer, yeah, hopefully I remember to pick this up. I should probably will be able to remember. Um, yeah, this is all correct, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that's all in storage now. So, yeah, um, I guess I can sell the postcard for how much if it's worth it, really. Because that's basically a free item, or I paid two dollars because I donated two dollars, and the woman that's outside at, at the beginning of Happy Happy Town just, um, you know, gave it to me because I didn't pay a donation. Mr. Baseball Cap, we don't need that anymore, so I'll sell it. it was, we got this, at, we got this uh, secret hideout in um, Onet, so we got it for free too. So let's just sell it. <laughs> don't tell the person that gave it to me. Gave it to me. Yes, anything else? Buy. No, I don't want to buy. Well, I'll have, to, I'll, have to, I'll have to check that later. I'll check that list later, actually, just because I didn't see a good look at it. Um, I can buy it for $1. I get half my money back that I donated. Okay, cool. I'll just do that. Every dollar counts, I guess. Okay, let's see, what can I buy? I want to buy the Sandlot bat, fry pan, I don't want to buy. Chicago Brace, I already have Holmes hat. Since I have the hard hat, it's kind of better. And ribbon, I don't want to buy. So, I'll buy the Sandlot bat. Yeah, thank you. I, okay, equip you. Yes, okay. Well, I, I, offense changed from 41 to 48. Wow. Would you like me to buy that cheap old bat for $24? Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, can I get. No, sorry, that's all. Okay, so I have $109. Um, I think there's still stuff I want to um get delivered, I guess, which is take, I believe. So yeah, I have still my skip sandwich. That's good. Okay, so let's uh call Excalgo Express again. Yes, Tracy, I would like to make a delivery if that means take from my stored items. Okay, yeah. Okay, delivery three things. Okay, so I want you to deliver my uh hmm. My, uh... Wait, what happened to my copper bracelet? Oh, I just tossed it, okay. Um... Then I really don't need anything from here, except for maybe a cold remedy. I could use that. It's like the only thing I could use, really, because I put this in storage, put this in storage for a reason, put this in storage for a reason. Yeah, so, like, I'm gonna get cold remedy, I guess. Um, no, that's it. Just confirm. Yes, okay, cold remedy. Is it correct? Yes, okay. Cool, I'm gonna have to pay $18 just to get my cold remedy back, but it's good to have it in my bag, okay, so I don't have to waste 5 PP on healing alpha, but I guess that'd be a better option, honestly, but we'll see. I'm just gonna walk around until he uh, appears, the guy. Cool, I like that music, it's like whoop 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 
I mean, okay, deliver your call remedy, your charge is eighteen dollars. So it's eighteen dollars if you uh deliver have a guy the guy pick it up and pick up an item or deliver an item, that's nice. Okay, so I got my cold memory back. I'm gonna use that as soon as soon as I get like a cold as soon as Ness gets a cold again. I'm gonna refer to Ness as like just Ness and not me. I'm just gonna say like for example, I just said um I'm whenever as soon as um Ness gets a uh cold, I'm gonna use a cold remedy on him or use that on him. So he gets better immediately. Just so I can use it. It's cause like it's a one time it's a one use item and I might as well use it the second we can, you know. If we're in a desperate situation too, that makes sense. Deposit Okay. Let's deposit eighty eight dollars, I guess. Yeah, eighty eight dollars. That's good. Okay. So now with our Sandlot bat bot at this drugstore, that's nice. Okay, so um I wanna show you guys how to get like free money without having the basically easy money easy money trick. Let's talk to oh wait no. We can talk to this guy I guess. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. Okay. So if we go up here to the food stand. No problem here of course. Okay, let's talk to the bananas. Okay. We trust you, feel free to shop here. What'd you like to buy? Um we have a fresh egg, how much would you want? Pay zero dollars. Nest did not pay. Um and then uh let's do it one more time I guess. Dang it, let's check it again then, not talk to it. Um, fresh egg. Yeah, Ness did not pay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna just talk to him again. I'm monitoring those people who don't finish this. I know you didn't pay. So this guy's really easy. I think we've rented one of these before. He's, um, a unassuming local guy. Yeah. Let's take him on. So we turn back to him. Okay, that was easy. Just one hit. Okay, wow. So eventually these um, fresh eggs will turn into, um, we got present, it's a toothbrush, okay? I should took the toothbrush, okay? It's cool. And not at the same time. But like, you want this confirmation, but, but the good side of you must ache with the good, ha ha ha, not really. They, um, basically these fresh eggs, they will turn into chickens later on, so that's pretty cool. What do you use a toothbrush for? Help, I don't know what this is. Toothbrush can be used during battle. Um, gone after one use. Okay, how much can I sell the toothbrush for? Okay, no, I don't want to sell. Yes, sell. Um, toothbrush. No, not a fresh egg. No. Yes, okay, sell. I want to buy, I want to try to sell the toothbrush. For one dollar. Okay, I might as well just use it. One dollar is not that great. Okay. Just curious. And I think there is one thing we have to do before going to the next thing. The events in the game. I don't know what exactly it was, but uh... Maybe I'll be okay. Unless he's over here. Unless the character is over here. I think there's one... I think we can move on to the next thing and if I, I forget to do something I'll do the next part hopefully. And I'll remember doing the next part actually. So yeah, I'm gonna just move on to the story and go through this little cave entrance. And right here there should be enemies I guess. I think there should be like, um, I forget what enemies they're gonna be, honestly. Maybe there's no enemies, I'm just being crazy, maybe we're just going crazy. And here we are back in the, um, the peaceful rest. Do I maybe beat the crow? No I do not, wow, okay. I'll just bash it once and hopefully it goes by. Bye bye, okay, one HP to Ness, okay. Smash! I smashed that crow. But we're basically in the Peaceful Vest Valley again. Except for this is a different area in the Peaceful Vest Valley. Let me drop a present. Drop the cookie. Yeah, Ness took it. Okay. Okay, let's hopefully you t I can take you out immediately. Good. I won! I got the experience. Lost the present. It's another cookie. But Ness can't carry any more items. She wants to throw something away. Um. Yes, let's uh, throw away the. The that was the chick. Okay, we already got a chick. Cool. Let's put the toothbrush. Yes, that's no one to brush our teeth. That it's gross. Okay, so now we're gonna use the we got a chick already. That's nice. Okay. Use the uh, cookie and not the PSI goods. Let's use this other cookie right here. That's good. It's not 155 HP exactly. I think that's a max HP too. So that's cool. Okay. So here is a girl locked up in a cage. Let's talk to her. 
Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I know I knew you would you would. Uh, therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had a hard time trying. If you didn't come, I would have have a hard. Uh, sorry, let me read that again. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust all this uh, bust out of here. So in the Japanese version. The, of Mother 2, I guess you could say. Um, they changed it from the, okay, so in the Japanese version from Mother 2, which is Earthbound in America, in the series at least, um, they, then they, it was actually her crying, you know, cause she's locked up and she's against her will and, you know, she's very sad about that, she's very upset. I don't, she doesn't know if she's gonna get rescued or what, what happened to her. But in the, um, American version, Earthbound, they actually changed it to trying to bust out of, like, jail basically so they kind of censored from crying to busting out of jail which um which is one one is more, crying is more passive while you know busting out of jail is more aggressive at least in that case hopefully i explained that right i don't know you can't open the door you'll have to get the key from car painter <laughs> that's what it sounds like when you that's what it sounds like when you spell it out and stuff he's got it Hidden away. I heard uh, Carpenter. I'm gonna say Carpenter. Matt Carpenter, our first baseman for the 2017. Um, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Yeah. Oh wait. By the time I'm uploading, I'm recording this on March 18th of 2017, which is the exact same day I was recording the last part. But uh, by the time this is uploaded, it's probably gonna be May, honestly. Honestly, sometime in May, to be honest. Well, depending on if this gets um uploaded before then my next project after um you get the sacred cards uh, depending on if this goes right up after you get the sacred cards or if it goes after the project going after the platforming project going after um sacred cards i haven't decided yet because i don't know because no, neither one of these projects will be finished yet when i'm recording this obviously recording this video so what to see a carpenter can control lightning in the, in that case you should wear this and uh, I think that's what it said. We got the Flinkwin badge. I want. I wait here until your turn. Come back here and get me out once you defeat Carpenter. Now I want to defeat Mark Carpenter. I'm just kidding. No, it's Carpenter, guys. It's different. Not Carpenter, like the hands and nails, hammer and nails kind of guy. Worker. Um. Don't worry about me. Just kick a butt and I, like I know you can. Huh, she knows a lot about me, even though this is the first time meeting her, in person at least, not in the dream, not including the dreams. So yeah, um, the Franklin badge, it automatically, um, it, it's, it's automatically set to you, and it helps you redeck lightning for some enemies such as Carpenter. If you tried going to Carpenter before he came here, then he would just, like, force you away with his lightning attacks. But with the Franklin badge, with it being held on any party member, or uh, being in any party member's uh, inventory, um, they can automatically have it on. They don't have to equip it like, uh, you know, the Sandlot Bat or the Hard Hat or the Copper Bracelet or the Travel Charm. Um, they can um, just redirect lightning back to the enemies, so that's really cool. Oh man, is that Pokey? Is that Pokey? Hey Ness, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? Shouldn't that be a question mark instead of a period? Okay, um, you should, you should call me, you can call me Master Pokey. Since Master Carpenter, no, Carpenter, sorry, um, made me an, an important person in Happy Happinism. By the way, that's like the kind of deal with everyone dressing all so weird, everything in blue and all that. It's Happy Happyism, apparently, because we're in, it's part of Happy Happy Town. Uh, you should just, you should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will later. Uh, later, potato. Okay, potato. <laughs> now, um, the first time I played this game, I was surprisingly shocked that po Pokey went to the, the evil side. Not the dark side like in Star Wars, but the evil side of things. Like, I wouldn't expect him to do that. But then I thought back to, like, the, you know, the subspace emissary b um, battle. I don't know what game it was based off of, but it was one of... It was when Pokemon Trainer and Ness and Lucas, uh, well, Pokemon Trainer and Ness met up and uh, they fought against this big boss that had Pokey in it. And uh, Ness came up and used PK Thunder on the uh, to stop it, or uh, to stun it, I guess. So I was really shocked that he was evil the first time I played this game, but I get it now. Like he's kind of the odd character, so he has to be kind of turn evil and stuff. Anyway, let's take out the crow. F 
I said I'll take out the crow first because the crow can steal items. But uh, okay, I forgot to select the crow. Oh yeah, no, I did select the right item. Okay, what? Oh, you got my skip sandwich. You suck. Come on, man. Not my skip sandwich. And there's another spiteful. There's another cultist. Oh my gosh, I'm not landing a sim. PSI. Rockin' right now. I'm not gonna try to pick a flash because I don't know what that does exactly. Because I'm following a guide. Up until this point, it's way blind for me. I've got to the point where I've, um, in my own playthrough, where I got Paul on my, um, as one of my team members, party members. Come on, I just need to. Yeah, okay. He took my skip sandwich. It sucks. Oh, three against one. That's not very cool, man. Even though it's been uh, different odd numbers and unfair numbers before in battles. So let's keep on bashing just the one, I guess. Oh my gosh. Just die already, please. <laughs> You're just being annoying right now. Oh, come on. Ness, you gotta focus. You gotta be the man. You gotta be the man of the house. Come on. Come on. Yes, thank you for no help coming. Yeah, thank you. That's good for me. Haha, <laughs> now we missed the target. Ha, huh, sucker. Oh my gosh, this is, a, this is such a long fight, all because he, uh, the call terrorist or whatever, called in the other g extra, one extra guy. Oh my gosh. I just want to beat this battle, man. It's not cool. It's not cool at all. It's not cool, man. One more bash should do it. There we go, nice. I hope I, hope I get a lot of experience from that battle. 1,662 experience, wow. That's awesome. And we can't really catch up with Pokey because game programming doesn't let you catch up to Pokey and battle him. So that kind of stinks. Let's see, what, how much more experience to the next level? 1,223, okay. That's cool. So there's, oh, there's more of these and they came. Now I have to deal with them, more of these I guess you could say, which is very annoying. Oh my gosh, this is- they do a- they do a whopping 2 HP each and it's really annoying honestly. I just can't take it man. Oh, he summoned- he called for help for another one. He called in another one basically to help him out. That's just great. Just come on. Thank you for no one coming to help him. Now if we'd be done with this battle if he, um, you know, didn't call in this one guy. Oh my gosh. This is like an endless fight. If he, he can- call in as many people as he wants but sometimes they fail which is good smash attack nice okay one more I'm taking it I'm under 100 HP now come on oh my gosh this is so annoying I just want to beat you that's a 412 experience well wow. this is not 20 oh baby defense went up by six speed went up by one Guts went up by 2. Oh baby, Vitality went up by 3. Awesome. Sweet. Um, maximum HP went up by 39. Wow. Maximum H HP went up by 2. So it's power life up, um, B. Which I think that's maybe Alpha. No, uh, Omega I mean. But I could be wrong. I don't know my group s Greek symbols that well to be honest. No, I have to face you because you're blocking the- I could have snuck past him by store probably had to fight him. Don't call on any of your buddies, okay? Jeez. Thank you. No, okay, fine, whatever. 2 HP, cool, 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 cool. Yes, thank you, you're back to normal. Okay, whatever. 353 experience, nice. So I'm gonna end the part right here, actually. So this has been my Earthbound Let's Play part. And next part, we'll take on, uh, hopefully get the key from the car painter boss and maybe run into Pokey again, I don't know, and hopefully save Paula and unlock her from that cage that she's been put in for God knows how long, honestly. So this has been Jonko again. I've already been again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.